Hello guys, welcome to Conjure Cells Paranormal. Tonight, me and my brother Matthew have travelled to a graveyard in Rotherham. Um, it's only the two of us tonight because the other couple of other guys wasn't able to make it. Um, so we're going to go around this graveyard and see what we can get. Um, there's two parts to it, there's the old section and um, there's more recent graves. So we're going to go around and see if there's anything in particular what we'll get tonight. Um, yeah, it should be good. Uh, how do you feel about it? Yeah, from coming in I've heard banging on that really and I think we're going to whistle didn't we? Yeah, I've heard a few it's noises. It's just a stuff rustling about from that man though. It's good to be having those. So we'll find out what's going left on it night. Yeah, we're going to um, start calling out and then we'll get a few pieces of equipment out and then obviously we'll see how it goes and then do a few spirit box sessions. So we'll get this investigation underway. Right guys, as you can see, we've just placed two red pods down. There's one at the very back. Um, just in front of the monument, and there's one actually here on the grave. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're both going to do a little bit of calling out, see if we can get something to manipulate, make those go off. Uh, if there's anyone around us right now, so that's temperature control, that means the temperature has dropped significantly. That's a good sign. Right, if there's anybody around us right now, you can hear us or see us. Affect any one of these devices. Come into contact with the antenna. Physically touch it, and it will make an alarming noise. I'll show you how to do it. Touch your heart. Or the one at the back, either one, they, they do do the same thing. That's where it is, isn't that? Yeah. It's just really, it's just really cold, that, isn't it? Yeah. Right, that's the other device, the one at the back. Give us some sort of sign that you're around us now. You haven't got the energy to do that yet. We just do something else. Make a bang or a growl or something, a whistle. What you appear on the camera is a ball of light. Show yourself around us. Come on. Did you maybe talk into the camera? Please show us that you're around, use some of our energy and set those devices off. They both work in the exact same way. Let's try and uh, move away from it. See if we can get some golf balls to the left. If it keeps alarming like that, 
going to contact with them now we've moved away from here. Make yeah, one of those devices alarm. It shows that you are around us. All you have to do is go near it. Go near the one. I don't know if you can hear that one. Uh, video guys but it is alarming really quiet which one is it that front end that's a brand, right, so that's a brand, brand new, new battery there guys well it's going off again straight away so that's a temperature fluctuation again five degree uh, drop in temperature it's gone colder and that has physically just had a brand new battery so it shouldn't be doing this at all just right, that's showing us that there's something around that device. If you can hear us, the antenna wire is sticking up. Can you just touch that for us? And that'll make it light and alarm. Physically touch it. Did you maybe affect the device at the back in any way? Well, it is beeping again. It is alarming, yeah. It's, it's not a strong enough force, is it? It's a bit bubble. Well, we'll set another device for you. It works basically the same. Alright, guys, what I've got here the EM pump. Now this is supposed to charge the atmosphere which basically puts energy into the atmosphere giving the spirits energy to take from it and they're able to use the devices more effectively so I'll put this on and see if this can have any sort of effect on the devices. So that is on now with it. Maybe put it in the middle of everything. So I'm going to set it off if it comes into contact with that. Or that. This is just to debunk it obviously, I don't want it affecting the devices. Right. The only thing it's doing with that is it has a compass on the top, it's making that move. So I'll just put it in the middle here. Hopefully that will put some energy around this place. And I'll allow the spirits to use devices. Well, come into contact with one of those devices, there's three there to choose from now. You know the Morse code, this is a Morse code uh, generator, so if you come into contact with this, you can give us some sort of Morse code message and we can translate that with the uh, device. The temperature is still going down. But that is you coming into contact with that device and changing the temperature. Do you maybe affect this one at the front here? Just to prove it is you. I don't know if you can hear that guys, but this red body here is alarming, really quiet. Right guys, here we have the portal that I've built. Um, attached to it we've got a noise gate which reduces any sort of static um, noise in the background which comes from the spirit box um, also I've got a pedal on here which is uh, an echo pedal so obviously if some responses come through the box we'll get it repeated like um, it's like it's bouncing off a wall coming back to you 
um, it's, that's out of effect. I do also have a reverb pedal which is currently not attached but um, I think throughout the night we will change the pedals around and obviously see if we can get some sort of different responses on there. I like it raining then but it will wind. It's, it's just wind water, blowing up water off isn't it? Yeah. Right so I'm going to use this. Right there. Move this over here a bit. Um, I use it with this spirit box. This is really good. Did that say out then Jason? Did you hear her laughing then, Jason? Yeah. Made to end. Hello? Oh, can you hear me? It's in a lot of it, isn't it? I don't know, it said something. So they are like over 100 years old. Um, 
all we've got here is the portal um, and we're going to run a, a spirit box app through it and see if we can get any sort of validation through that. Um, we've got a motion sensor light set up on, the, on, the, on top of the grave there, so if anything it walks past it will go off. And obviously we've got the red pod set up. Um, we are just going to um, start off with the spirit box and go through that a bit. Hello? Is anybody there? It's sort of like grave then, I think. Yeah. Can you make it tell us your name, please? Is this your grave here at the side of us? Hello, is anyone there who wishes to communicate with us? Come through and speak to us. My name's Matthew. What's your name? Hello, give us your name, please. Nice. That was a bit clearer. You speak a bit clearer, please. Hello. Is anyone who wishes to communicate with us? It's not very really clear, is it? Could you maybe affect this device? Oh, no, point it to right here. All you need to do is touch the antenna and it will light. And the alarm is of your presence. Oh, that will leave you in your grave. Whoa, it just said, Whoa, leave you in your grave. I heard that plane there. I don't know if anyone you heard that on camera. That was crazy, that, as if it said that. That's clearly false, Is this grave yours around us? stuff around me, mate. These are the names that's on the stone outside of us. Could you maybe tell us where we are right now? So we've got one uh, uh, fan saying that they can feel negative energy and we've got to be careful. Um, so we'll do that. I'm just going to put this EM pump on, see if we can, this can generate any more energy. Just touch screen so I don't know. So that's the EM pump on, that's... Could you maybe tell me what this is? I'm holding it in my hand. What is this on this cross? He's still there with us.
Can you speak more clearer? Like you was doing before, it would be lovely. So something like taking part of from heaven. Well, could you do something just to prove that you are there with us? Just give us a name for this device. Affect one of the devices in front of you. Are you a fallen angel? Could you give us your age, please? What did that say? I'm an old man. I'm sure I heard that. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Just give us a number, please. Said something there and I didn't make out what it actually said. So this is the spirit portal, guys, and that's the app what we're running at the moment. Um, we do use um, quite a lot of different spirit boxes through this. Um, we've got a reverb pedal and the noise get attached to it, but I have also got the um, echo pedal as well with us. So hopefully, oh, it's starting to rain. Lovely. Uh, I think it's just wind that blowing it off at trees, Jason. What's your occupation then? That'll crazy. I'm a builder. What was your occupation? Come on, you must have done something. Have you ever walked on this earth? Have you ever been alive before? Why has it gone very quiet? It's gone really quiet. One stand up for. Why is that very quiet? It was loud a minute ago. I don't know. Just quickly grab this. I'm going to get another battery from bag. Uh, Walter might be dying. What was that? Well, I don't know if you can hear that, guys, but it's gone really quiet. Right for the speaker. It's not off the ground. What is off the ground? Is it? Why is everything stop working? Is it completely different art scale for what's part of the thing? What part of Is that you affecting our devices? There's no way that should be right. That's completely different speaking, completely different art scale and it does work. Whoa! That one not working either. No. That's three spirit boxes, two amplifiers and a portal not working. And I've used two different art scales and they all work. They're all tested. We have had them working tonight. I can't understand it. It's never happened before what they have. Can I grab that? I've got a Bluetooth stick in the bag. 
by connecting it with a Bluetooth speaker. So guys, everything seems to be stopping working for some reason. We've tried amplifier, two uh, speakers, two different aux cables, and we've even tried changing apps and uh, two different spirit boxes and then it's all stopped working for some reason and everything works. I don't know if it's to do with the place that we're in. Right guys, um, you won't have seen, but we have just done a live feed and we stopped recording. We started uh, recording the live feed. Uh, we did some spirit box sessions and all of a sudden everything stopped working. The portal that we were using stopped working. The spirit box app went really quiet. Um, we tried a speaker which um, has been fully charged and nothing wrong with it, not working. Tried two different aux cables, tried different apps, um, tried two different spirit boxes, yeah. don't we? Bluetooth speaker and all. Yeah, everything stopped working. I don't know if it's where we are or what, but uh, one of the fans was saying that there was some ne negative energy around us. This fan was a, um, she says that she was, uh, she said that she was a, an actual spiritual medium. So obviously she's picked up on negative energy around us. Um, this part of the graveyard is a really old part, so it could be have something to do with where we are. Um, but it has really dropped in temperature, it's freezing, yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm starting to feel a bit faint and a bit strange. Everything worked when we were just over there. There was, there was no wrong with any equipment. We tried different batteries and everything. We tried two different aux cables, uh, two speakers, uh, portal. We tried different ba batteries in the portal. It, it just it was working fine. We got um, a few messages through the spirit box. Um, Something about a grave, and then something about fallen angel. Well, uh, some clear responses came for it, really. Yeah, clear. And then something about heaven. Uh, we'd have to listen back to others to see what it did say, but it, it said something significant. That, uh, obviously, we've used the app before, and it's never mentioned graves or anything like that. So it's not something what's programmed into it to say um, we're obviously in a graveyard, and it's, it's mentioning graves. So that's that's evidence. That is good evidence, right, guys. Um, We've come up to the new part of the graveyard. Uh, we've decided that we are going to cut it short um, as all our equipment is going off. Well, near enough everything went off, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, we're conducting a spirit box. All equipment's just died. Uh, we've just used backup um, battery packs to get the lights working. Um, but it has dropped freezing. So it's absolutely freezing at the moment. Um, but I've had a good time since I've been here. I have. Uh, I don't think we've had some really good responses from the yeah, box about that, have we? It will be good to watch back footage. Definitely. Um, I mean, I came off here all quite warm, started off feeling fine, and then what, what, we hadn't had no like REM put activity or anything, which is unusual, because we do get quite a lot of that. Um, as soon as we went into the spirit box and started asking questions and that, it's just atmosphere has changed completely. It's gone absolutely freezing. Just went with very weird, didn't it? Yeah, what coming through really clear on that spirit box. Uh, um, I definitely want to listen back to that and see what we've got because it, it, it said something about graves and something about heaven and uh, something about angels, which is really significant to the place where we are. Yeah. And we have actually used that spirit box before and it's never said anything like that, so that's, that's crazy. I don't, I don't think it's ever come through that clear before. No, no it's a completely different voice as well what's set in the actual app um, but that's it uh, from me guys so um, thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to us um, see you on the other side and that's it from me